so overall what you are saying is that uh, a temple needs to be a a multi you could say a multi dimensional resource for enabling people to personally connect with krishna yeah so it could be in terms of uh, getting the knowledge so also get, getting say, seeing some examples and uh, so now sometimes we see bhakti being presented as a one zero thing that is somebody is practicing then okay you are chanting these many rounds now you increase your rounds and now you come to the level of initiation and if people don't come to that then they feel a little pressured too much or neglected and devalued so in one sense it's natural that we want everyone to grow but at the same time that uh, i believe that you don't you try to avoid that having that one zero that people should not feel pressured to so how do yeah. we inspire people to grow without pressuring them well i'll tell you one incident you know when i was uh, uh, preaching in mumbai so this one congregation program i was doing this was in english in in chimbur mm. i was doing this congregation program and this hp seal colony and i must have done that for almost more than 5 years and after that you know uh, uh i was asked to come here to nasik so you know there was one gentleman from day one he was coming okay and uh, and and he came you know regularly for almost all the programs for all these years all the five years he was there and when it was announced that you know so now someone else will be taking over and you know i'll be i'll be moving to nasik like that so this gentleman he came to me and he said that prabhu ji uh, i just want to tell you that uh, i want to commit uh, from today onwards to chant 16 rounds and he said that he said that today after this program which means around 10 o'clock 10 pm he is going to go and start chanting 16 rounds so i said uh, wow that's wonderful and he said no i want to tell you why i said why because all these years you know there were so many who were always asking me that you know you've been coming since day 1 in this program you know, and we never see you chanting how many rounds do you chant and all these kind of questions and he said that you know i i was i was so put off by those questions whenever these questions these kind of questions were asked to me about my rounds number of rounds and chanting and all that and the one reason i was coming every week regularly for all these years waiting when you would also ask that question to me really okay and if you would have also asked me that question that would have been the last program i would have attended you wow <laughs> and i don't know i didn't do it consciously but somehow <laughs> i i would always meet him after the program and you know we would you know talk sometimes he would ask some questions i would talk about his family his work and you know just general discussion but somehow i remember i never asked him about his chanting that you know how many rounds do you chant and like that and on his own he said that you know i commit to chant 16 rounds so so i realized that uh, uh, you know see you can you can have someone chant whatever number of rounds hmm. by you know sometimes pushing them to chant but then you won't get quality people you you will you will always have people who will will just chant because of some obligation or some fear of you hmm. but if you really want someone you know who volunteers to chant and who is doing it you know from the heart so it's not just the chanting it's it's the entire lifestyle of a sadhaka which uh, along with the chanting you know uh, comes along so mm. i have seen that you know it's like uh it's like 
holding a pigeon in your arm in your palm pigeon when you hold okay when you hold pigeon if you hold it too tight you you might suffocate that pigeon to death and if you hold it too lightly the pigeon will fly off beautiful metaphor okay so dealing with you know uh, certain uh, people whom you are preaching to it's like you know carefully holding uh, like holding a pigeon in your in your palms hmm so you yes, so yes, so that met, that metaphor itself is beautiful but in terms of practicality i think it will depend on each individual teacher's expertise and sensitivity to know now when a person is being held too tightly and when a person is being loosened mm. that's i you know i was one of the first programs that i did in america in florida i had gone to university and there was one boy who came for the program is a indian boy settled in america so he said that i started because of something that happened in my life i had a near death experience so i started as i went spiritual search so he mentioned mm-hmm. that uh, i attended some programs by some christian preachers some muslim mullahs even some yoga teachers yeah i felt that all of them wanted to uh, convert me and get me to come to their path but he said that i felt that the way you were presenting you wanted to help me where you were where i am yeah. so i think people are also uh, astute so they they sense the pressure even if it is not overtly exerted even if it is subtle also people do sense mm. it and if it's not there then they do feel a uh, warmth and welcoming attitude that is otherwise not so easily available yeah 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 because you know if you look into our uh, scriptures you know when arjun was receiving the knowledge from krishna it was it was so much uh, open that mm. you know te chesi tatha kuru okay whatever uh, you have uh, heard now it's up to you you know there was no pressure at all of any kind you know and uh, uh, we can see that at the same time it wasn't that krishna was not emphatic in his presentation hmm krishna was emphatic in presenting bhagavad gita but along with that krishna also gave arjun the freedom you know whether he wants to choose or whether he wants to do mm. whatever he wishes you know yeah here i can do some play of words i think krishna was emphatic and empathic <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 understood where arjuna was but at the same time this is the path now how you want to go that's up to you but yeah 